What's up? I'm back on the Canon S. Basically what I was saying is I've been streaming a whole bunch, um, sitting right here in this room, streaming a whole bunch lately and editing YouTube videos. And on all my old YouTube videos, I look like crap. My hair looks like I just rolled out of bed. Um, my hair looks like I just rolled out of bed. I look like total crap. I'm wearing a sweatshirt. Just look bad, you know, haven't, haven't trimmed my beard, haven't shaved at all or anything. So like, I just thought, you know what? Now I'm gonna make a YouTube video and I'm actually gonna try to look decent in it. So this is, you know, my attempt to do that. Even though I really have no reason to put on a nice shirt um, or even put on, you know, nice jeans or, um, you know, real shoes or anything like that. So. I got everything loaded up. I got some slow motion of me loading the truck up with uh, uh, all my laundry and everything like that. I still have a couple of batteries charging, but I've got tons of batteries. I do have the GoPro hooked up to my front of my truck right now recording. Um, so we're really, really in good shape here. I, it's four o'clock right now. So I'm gonna go get my some me pickle barrel and go drop my clothes off, or I might go, I'm gonna drop my clothes off and then go get pickle barrel. And then um, come back here, get my stuff, my other two cameras, hopefully the batteries will be done. Um, and then I'm off to Bighorn National Recreation Area. And I had a thought that I was talking to a friend about a long time ago that I just wanted to share. And, I w and that thought is the similarities between vlogging and journaling or keeping a diary. And you see all kinds of people out there and articles and books and stuff that talk about the benefits of a daily journal, you know. You reflect on your own life, you're, you think about things, you're more aware, you're more mindful to use a term that is in vogue right now. Um, but those same things apply to vlogging. I mean, with vlogging, it's just, it's just a, it's basically, you know, a blog is just a web log, which is just a journal or a diary. And a vlog is just a video log. So it's just a video journal or a video diary is really all this is, except I'm sharing it with the world on YouTube. Um, but I, I experienced the same exact kind of, um, <clears throat> benefits from vlogging. And I was talking about how it's interesting how you see a lot of daily vloggers and they, they all seem on YouTube, all the daily vloggers seem extremely um, aware of their life and what's going on in their life and they're very reflective and thoughtful about what's going on and very purposeful and I think that same thing happens um, with, with anything and honestly lots of people talk about how they do daily vlogging because it gets them up and it gets them to do stuff and they really like that aspect of it they like being um, active and doing adventures and you know you're not gonna there's nothing to film if you're just sitting around your house all day it's not that fun to watch there's nothing going on but you know like I'm gonna take an hour hour and a half drive down to um, um, Bighorn Canyon a national one of the most beautiful areas in the whole entire country world for that matter um, you know, but I w otherwise wouldn't do it probably if I wasn't going to create a video vlog out of it and create a vlog that I was going to upload on YouTube and share with everybody. You know, who knows if I'd have done it. I might have just streamed all day today, which I was actually thinking about streaming all day today. I really wanted to, honestly, but, you know, I haven't done anything like this in a while and I need to get some more content, although I still have a ton of videos to edit and stuff, but, <clears throat> you know, plus I just spent thousands and thousands of dollars on cameras, so I might as well make use of that. Yeah, there was, there was one other thing I wanted to explain, which is, you know, I haven't been using this Canon SX 720 because I had my GH4, so I've been using the GH4 a bunch. I took it out vlogging stuff. The problem is right now I can't really use the GH4 for vlogging, which is why I like and think I'm going to keep using this and then use that more for B-roll, which is what traditionally people have done. Actually, I do remember talking about this a little bit. But what I want, more wanted to say is that um, <clears throat> the reasons why, basically, like, I, number one, I don't have a wide-angle lens at all for my GH4. The lowest, app, the lowest lens I have is 14 millimeters on my zoom lens. Um, 
stock put sort of kit type lens, which is actually, I guess, 28 millimeter traditionally, so it's not that wide angle. So I'd like to get a wide angle. But also because um, you know, it doesn't have stabilization, not very good stabilization. I think this cannon part has better stabilization, but you know, maybe not. We'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna leave the camera running while we go into Pickle Barrel and order and stuff. Hopefully they don't run. And I'm gonna come back up here and eat a lot of this on the radio. All right, I just got home, ate my sandwich, and then came home. I forgot to turn my GoPro back on, so I, I'm not gonna have a time lapse of coming back from the pickle barrel back to my house, but that's okay. Um, that's all right. I am, we're gonna take off though. It's gonna take me an hour and a half to get to Bighorn National Battlefield, and I just looked, the sun sets at 8 p.m. tonight. So we've got three hours, that's an hour and a half to get out there. That's an hour, hour and a half of them filming and watching the sunset at the Bighorn National Canyon area, whatever it's called, I don't know what it's called. I think it's Bighorn Canyon. Bighorn Canyon National Recreation Area, something like that. Um, so I'm gonna go inside, get my GH4 set up, or grab my GH4, grab my batteries that are charging, grab my drone, come back out here, swap the battery on the GoPro, start the GoPro up, recording, and then we're off. We're off to Bighorn National, Bighorn Canyon National Recreation Area. Okay. I'm about to leave my house here in Billings. It is now 5.30 almost, which is a little bit later than I expected, but I've got my, my drone back there. I've got all my camera gear here, and I've got this camera set up right here, which I think is sweet because Right now I have three cameras going. I have my Canon for vlogging, I have my GH4, and I've got my GoPro on the front of the truck recording. So I've got three cameras going right now. This one I'm just gonna let run and I can talk to it as I'm driving, um, <clears throat> which I think is really cool. Okay, this is bad. It is now 6:45. Remember, the sun goes down at 8 p.m. It's 6:45. I mean, the sun is the sun is going down already. The sun's getting low. Um, but it's 6:45. I just put in Bighorn Canyon National Recreation Area and went to wherever it said to on the map, on Google Maps. Turns out that was wrong. Okay, well, I made it to where I'm going to try to fly the drone. Um, I'm just outside of St. Xavier, Montana, um, kind of in the middle of nowhere. I think this is like a dump of some kind, like they might come bring their stuff out here to do a, do a dumps because there's like piles of garbage around and stuff, but the sun's going down so I can't really drive around much more. There's nobody around here except like one guy in a truck up there, so, and plus the sun's about to go down, and this is the Bighorn River right here. We're right next to the Bighorn River, so I think I can get some really, really cool uh, drone footage. So that's what I'm gonna do. Peace. 
All right, now this is uh, this is awesome. I've got one, one, two, three, four. I've got four cameras going right now. Legitimately, I have four cameras running right now. I've got my drone, which is right here, um, and I've got the uh, I've got the Litchi app for my Phantom 3 standards. I've just got it on the orbit. I'm just doing I'm just having to do an orbit mission right now. Um, and then I've got the GoPro on the front of my truck over there. I've got the GoPro on the front of my truck, and then I've got my GH4 right here set up looking at the sunset.
Okay, um, I brought the drone in, put the drone away, packed that up, um, and then I got out my iPhone and I took a bunch of pictures of the sunset with my iPhone, did some slow motion with my iPhone too, so we do have, I do now have footage and pictures from um, five different cameras, iPhone, GoPro, Canon, GH4, GoPro. Yeah, I mean, look at the sunset. Sunset still looking beautiful, looking absolutely gorgeous. Um, GoPro is still going. GoPro still going. I'll just probably just leave it on there when I leave because I'm probably only I'm probably gonna be here another maybe 10 minutes and then I'm out. See what's kind of interesting is these zebra lines are now. Oh, these zebra lines are going away there's only one little bit of portion that's now that it's telling me is overexposed on those zebra lines so that's pretty cool that's pretty cool I'm pretty stoked on that I'm pretty stoked on the tripod situation um, yeah I'm just gonna chill I'm just gonna chill here and maybe actually you know I've been running around with my camera so much I haven't had a chance to just kind of sit and actually look at the sunset and enjoy it without flying a drone or messing with my cameras or turning one on, turn it off or switching batteries or something. That is the negative aspect of vlogging. People always say, you know, you know, that's, why don't you just enjoy it in the moment instead of vlogging and, you know, I enjoy the editing part of this, reliving it just as much as I enjoy being out here too and 
as long as I recognize that there is that there is a downside of vlogging and videoing that means you're gonna miss some stuff um, while you're there as long as you recognize that and take some steps to get around that I think you're okay I'm, I'm gonna take some steps right now which is turn these cameras off turn all the cameras off except my GH4 which is still doing the sunset on its own and just kind of listen be listen to the quiet listen to the quiet be out here in the quiet I'm out here by myself middle of nowhere in Montana this is I love it out here I'm having a great time I'm just gonna take it all in I'm gonna enjoy it all right here I am in Hardin Montana at the gas station it is 850 I've had a great day and like I've been driving back <clears throat> this last 20 minutes 30 minutes just thinking just thinking about you know the fact that this is what I did today on this Saturday and um, I don't know it's just weird you know, I was just you know doing doing this by myself and going on this adventure by myself like I don't know I love it I had a lot of fun but it, I know for sure other people find that I that I did this and they think that I'm a kind of a weirdo or I must be lonely which I'm not or you know something like that so those types of things I think are interesting to think about like why can't why do other people not why do some people not not all other people why do some people not enjoy doing things like this by themselves and um, why do some people not understand other people I mean why do why don't I understand other people I don't know it's all kind of weird but anyway I'm gonna run in and get a coffee and help you back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 